Okay, here we are. Uh, this is stage four where I've applied all of the uh, wire mesh to the actual sculpture. And you can see here's the eagle and here's again, this wing here is going to take like the shape of the wave. And I secured everything with galvanized tacks that are used for roofing. And this is going to be the wings, which are going to be looking like feathers. And you know, it's going to take the shape of the wave, as you can see there on that curvature. Uh, things about sculptures, you want them to be interesting from all directions. This will be the wing, so I'll have some, you know, on the bottom here, when you see me put the plaster on there, it's going to have some, uh, some crevices and some really interesting effects that it's going to take. So anyway, this is uh, stage four, and the next stage will be when I apply the plaster. Here's some of the tools I used, uh, galvanized wire, some cutters, there's the uh, roofing tacks that I told you about, my uh, rubber Apache mallet, and of course some gloves, and just some other miscellaneous pliers, and uh, you know, a staple gun. And anyway, like I said, I did this under a redwood block so that it doesn't uh, corrode and fall apart. Uh, this ensures the uh, longevity of the plaster cast sculpture and from here we'll make more copies as needed stamp them out so the next level the next stage will be when I apply the plaster as always chopto.com thanks for tuning in see you next time thanks